So we're here at Planned Parenthood South Texas and this guy, the supervisor has his name on his shirt. He's trying to cover up and his face. We keep telling him this is blood money. He's trying to avoid us from talking. And here's the, here's the supervisor for Planned Parenthood South Texas. He's trying to protect him. Out here wearing in blood money, he doesn't want to be known. He's covering up his name on his shirt, cover up his face so he can't be identified. So we'll follow this guy. It's, uh, he's protecting. And this guy too. Look at the license plate number here. We're gonna find out who you are. We're gonna find out. Yeah. They're out here bravely working, building a wall for Planned Parenthood South Texas to be insulated from the public, from first people exercising their First Amendment rights to save and protect women, Mexican women, Hispanic women, Latino women, and their babies. And they are out here breaking the noise ordinance and they are building a wall that's illegal. Another zoning violation for Planned Parenthood South Texas that Mayor Ron Nuremberg and the New Office Service Department allowed them to get away with. And as they harass us again today for our own for our noise on the speakers, and yet here's the sky, cutting, making lots of noise out here. And um, well, exercise his First Amendment rights to pray on the sidewalk peacefully, trying to protect unborn children, and yet we get badgered by the police again after we called in a 311 complaint. They come out here and harass us not talk to Planned Parenthood, their people. We got all these Hispanic men out here defending Planned Parenthood, defending abortion, and none of the Hispanic men are protecting the Hispanic women or the Hispanic babies from the policeman, SAPD officer, Hispanic, the Planned Parenthood employee, groundskeeper, Hispanic, the security guard that they hired, Hispanic, these five men out here building the wall trying to hide their identity, this one, the supervisor trying to hide his identity, covering up his name on his shirt and his face. All Hispanic. We have eight to nine men out here defending abortion, defending and doing the white man's work, the racist work, the eugenicist work, to earn blood money so that their own people, their own kind, Hispanic women, Latinas, are left to be to be harmed. Their babies, Hispanic babies, be killed. And they do nothing about it, they collect blood money. They do the bidding and work of the white man, the elitist whitest. The elitist white. Not everybody's like that, very few people are like that. But these elitist white eugenicists, like Jeffrey Hahn, Planned Parenthood CEO. Mayor Ron Nuremberg, who favors Planned Parenthood South Texas. Majority of the city council, including Ana Sandoval, Shirley Gonzalez. Roberto Trevino, all who have made public comments in favor of contraception and abortion that harm women and kill babies, Hispanic babies. Any Hispanic participating in this should never cry of discrimination again because you are participating in it. If you are condoning it, if you are enabling it, you are part of the problem. As Hispanics, whoever, any Hispanic who participates in Planned Parenthood South Texas, you are participating in the slaughtering of your own people, your own ethnicity. 71% of the babies killed here are Hispanic. Planned Parenthood South Texas' own numbers say that they kill about 2,000 babies here a year. 71% of them are Hispanic. That means that over 1,400 per year here are killed at Planned Parenthood South Texas in the city of San Anthony where over 60% of the people are Hispanic. You think the white people, the white elitists, are trying to minimize the number of Hispanics? I think so. Why would you ever participate with Planned Parenthood in South Texas? Would you ever participate with them? You can never say, call out somebody on discrimination as you're part of the problem. You're participating in discrimination right here at Planned Parenthood in South Texas. May God have mercy on your souls from the San Antonio Family Association. Find out more information at SanAntonioFamilyAssociation.com. San Antonio Family Association on Instagram and Facebook. May God bless you. Happy Easter season.